Hey guys, today I'll be reviewing the Mesco Hellboy figure. This is the battle damage version of Hellboy, where he gets in that final battle scene in the first movie. And this is where his trench coat is all like dirty and burned, and like he's bloodied up. And then you can see his face close up. He has the broken off sawed off horns, the blood, the angry face, and the yellow eyes. And for this one, he comes with three accessories. He comes with the Samaritan that opens up. He comes with this sword that he took from the statue in the movie. It's nicely painted and detailed, and it's pretty big it's almost as tall as he is and then you have these chains that he was chained up in the movie it has moving parts and you put the right hand of doom here you put his head here and you put his arms in here for his left arm and then you just close it up and it just snaps into place And now for articulation, Hellboy's head is on a ball joint, so his head goes up that much. It goes down that much. And then his head turns side to side. And he has some head pivot. His arms are on a ball hinge joint, which go up more than 90. And then he has a Bicep swivel, single jointed elbow, wrist swivel. For this side it's the same, but then he has rotation. And then he has a ball hinge joint, so this moves around. And then for his torso, he has an upper ball joint that goes up and down. And then he has a waist swivel. He has these like Y jointed hips kind of thing where you have to twist them and turn them so the legs go up that much he has that thigh swivel single jointed knee and then his legs go down and up and he has an ankle pivot but this one's a little bit stuck and also for the tail it swivels midway swivels and towards the end it swivels so yeah that's it for this review thanks for watching